Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how to download and install Internet Explorer 9. So to download Internet Explorer 9, you have to go to this link and you will find the same link in the description too. So go to the description to go to the link. So I am going to open my Internet Explorer 8. Now I am going to paste the link in the search bar. So you can see it has gone to the site and you can see is a mess and the reason for that is I'm running Internet Explorer 8 and so the browser is not supported in the uh, website but I can actually still use the website but not in the way that you can think but we can actually uh, go to the download button still so you will not find any problems if you're using Internet Explorer 8 but if you're using Internet Explorer uh, 7, 6 you might face problems but I think you, you will still be able to download in Internet Explorer 8 which is I'm using right now. Now you have to scroll down and click download in IE9. Now it will ask you to save so I'm going to save this. I'm going to save it in my downloads and it has started so it is a big file about 207 megabytes so it will take some time to be downloaded so you can see the download has completed and I'm going to go to the folder this is a rare file and I would recommend 7g in this case to open this file so if you do not have 7g download and install it in your windows so after you have downloaded and installed 7g you just need to right click the file and in the 7g option click extract to ie9.0.rare so you can see the extracting process has begun and after extracting the file you have to go to the folder and you can see there is two versions windows 7 and windows vista as i'm using windows 7 so i'm going to go to windows 7 and now we can see ie9 final and ie language pack so the second one is based on languages so if you want to install the uh, browser in your own language like french german or any languages that is available you can actually go to that folder but we are going to install the normal version so we are going to go to the ie9 final now in here if you have windows 7 64 bit you have to click the first one that says windows 7 x64 and if you have 32 bit you have to select windows 7 x86 x86 actually refers to 32 bit so if you have a 32 bit system you have to click this file and if you have 64 bit you have to click that file you can actually run both of the file if you're running 64 bit but you cannot actually run the other file uh, if you're running 32 bit so my system is 32 bit and i'm going to run windows 7 at x86 but if you're not sure if you're using windows 64 bit or 32 bit there is a simple way to know that and that is to go to the start button and then right click computer then go to properties in here you can see that it is showing me 32 bit operating system so by this way you can actually know what bit you're using 64 bit or 32 bit so as i'm using 32 bit i'm going to select this file So now I'm going to close all the files. It is recommended that you close and save all the files before processing this installation. So after closing and saving all of your files, click install to start the process. In this process, you also need internet connection. Keep in mind that a fast internet connection may provide you with fast results, but it should take the same time nevertheless so internet explorer 9 is now installed and we need to restart now so click restart now to use internet explorer 9 so i have restarted my windows and now i'm going to go to my internet explorer 
to see if I have upgraded my Internet Explorer to the 9 version and you can see the platform the layout has already been changed and you can actually see the effects uh, I'm going to close that so I'm going to go to settings and then to about Internet Explorer and there we can see we have Windows Internet Explorer 9 so that's how you can actually download and install Internet Explorer 9 I hope you are able to do it and I will see you in the next video.